Howdy out there, Pro Spartan Gamer with the SP Spartans PES 2014 Master League season, episode 9, three more Skybet Championship games against the old guard of British football. We've got Leeds, Blackburn and Bolton in this episode, all going to be tough games. And then we've only got three more before the window, so we're getting near to the nitty gritty and hopefully we can raise funds so that we can do some business in January because I think the side needs quality squad numbers added to it if nothing else um, very tired we've had Fred's been a real success who's come in Ricardo Fate has been fits and starts Ellie zoo has been pretty poor just showing you the game plan for today's game um, only real change but I don't think it's for the worst is Festa Zelm is coming again at fullback after a good game because Patchouli's on a down Festival is on a total red. I mean, Castolius was fantastic in the win against Middlesbrough. Again, no Gazalia, he's on a total down, and Ellie Zoo's on the bench. So we've gone in with Hulagu on the left wing. Fred's going to cut in from the right, hopefully, and blast a few shots in at the Leeds keeper, Kenny. Um, you need to look at exposing the width. They've only got three at the back, as you can see in their formation. Hopefully, we can get some more wins. Um, we are home in this one, and that's really what we need. So I will join you on the pitch side, and we will have some newspaper news later on in this episode. Okay, dudes. Here we are then, Spartan Park. Evening football against Leeds United. The usual chant is ringing out to get the Spartan Army charged for this one. We need them supercharged. We, need, we know how we need to play at the moment with this team. It needs to be high octane, it needs to be not giving leads or any side that we come against a moment to breathe. We need to be in their faces, ramming it into them. High tempo we need to get. When we're laboured in low tempo and we're not in their faces, we're a poor outfit. And it's very difficult to get that consistency every single game with this side because of the low ratings and the default team. But that's what we need to get today. We're in our home kit. PlayStation 4 obviously coming out any minute now, and that's who we're sponsored by. Come on, Ricardo. We need a game from you. It's been a while since you starred. About the time you started showing why we paid 2.2 million for you, man. Come on, boys. Crowd are with us straight away, and we need them. Well done. Hula go. Hula go. Oh, just over. Trying to make a name for himself in the Spartan shirt on the left. What about it? Dip in, but didn't dip quick enough. First row action here. Getting the crowd rallied up, though. Spartan Army, come on. 12 gone. Good stuff, Ricardo Fate. Fred's in! Oh, good chance. Fred didn't get the power in the shot. It was a toe ender. Good play from Ricardo Fatty. Been a quiet game so far. Here we are on 30. Awful ball in that. Don't know what he's doing. Well done. Good from Fred. Oh, straight into the midriff of Kenny. No purchase on it again. 33 gone. We've had three sort of half chances, I suppose. McCormick. Oh, well done, boys. Right on half time. That's the first time they ventured into our half, really. It's been a good first half, and the crowd has stayed with us today, which is good. Half time, we just need to get that goal. It's not been loads of highlights. We've had those three chances. Leeds have nothing. Pass completion is a little bit better. 63, I'd still like it higher than that. I'm not going to make any changes at half time. So we'll be straight back there. Second half, here we go. Come on, this is a real tight game. One goal might be enough. We need to be the ones scoring it though. Zolius, good hula go. Oh, and 
unlucky. He's had a good game on the left, Hulagu. 69 gone and nothing much in the second half to report for you out there, to be honest. It's been a real tough nut. Leads with a bit of pressure here, though, which is a bit of a worry. Good eight, Fester Zoom. Good play, son. Very good play. Losing it when it matters. Gonna look at the bench in a minute, I think. Because it's getting to the nitty gritty now where we could pop up with something. We're going to the bench with 15 to go in the hope that we can turn something around. We've had a poor second half, really. Not really made anything. All our players are so out on their feet, it's unbelievable. Pistolius is gonna come off and it's gonna be Ellie Zoo. No, it's not. It's gonna be. Bajoro's getting a run out in there. Hula who's out on his feet, really. Jochenberg's going to come on over there. I think he can play a bit further forward, can't he? In there. We're going to bring on the other forward. Radachok. Three changes to try and turn it round. Just give me one chance. Keep it clean. Keep it clean at the back and give me a chance up top for the Spartans. Could be a precious three points. Certainly don't deserve to be losing the game because we've we've limited them to nothing. To be fair, but a good ball, one to chase for fresh legs. Desperately need a striker in the window. Zelstein's run has ended. Fred's in! Oh, and he saved it. What a chance. Right on the noggins here. Great play from Jakenberg. Five minutes to try and find something here. Pajoro's with a bit of space. Fallen for... Jackenberg! Yes! Jackenberg! Floaty, floaty in, and Jakoberg has got his first goal for the Spartans, and what a crucial one! Bajoro's lost it there, but it fell to Radicek, who's done quite well the couple of games he's come on late by setting up a couple of goals. Good cross. Back stick header. Oh, got a deflection. That's why it looked floaty. The header wasn't actually going in, I don't think. It was going straight back at the keeper. Bit of luck for the Spartans. Let's have a look here. Yeah, one of the best of headers. In off the ginger headed number four. We'll take it. We don't care. Priceless. Two late goals we've got in the last two games. That's a good trait to come up with. Now let's keep it as tight as a Buxton pair. Home and hose now, I think, boys. I think we deserve the win, to be fair. Easy heart. He's the man again. Mackinshire. Jakenberg with that priceless goal. He's giving it away like a dog. Well done, Fester Zoom. A little ball into space. Blow up, there it is. We got the three points in the home toy. We'll be very happy with that. Deflected header in the last five. He's just about done it for us. At least didn't even have a shot on target. We did defend well in that game. It's got to be said. What's happened there? Oh, got through. I was nervous in that game for some reason. Festivelm, yeah, he's doing a good job at right back. Definitely impressed me. Jakenberg got come on with the goal. Fred, we're asking so much of Fred every game. That's the trouble. That's what I feel. But we've come away with the points, and you've got to be happy with that. They had a 7.5, one of their guys. I don't know who that was. Let's see what that leaves us in the table. Back-to-back -back wins is always good. We're not getting very much money for the home wins, which is my concern. So Bolton and Blackburn, the other two in this episode, both lost there, looking at that. We are at the fourth, and I would have taken that any day of the week. Wins see, wins see are better than draws, obviously. Lots of draws early on in the season didn't do nothing. Now we're sort of winning and losing. 
but we've gone at the table and we're right on the coattails of the top three. I mean, a massive 11 points behind QPR, where our um, Blackburn are 14th and Bolton a bottom. So, in theory, two games are winnable for the Spartans coming up soon. So, well, you, what will be a while for me to go through the menus, but it will be no time for you at all, guys. We'll be back for the next game in a minute of episode 9. Here we are then, Ewood Park. Thought this was good. will be a tough game, I'm sure. We know what we got to do. Don't want to repeat myself every time, but it needs to be high octane. We need to pressurise them, minimise the chances, because we're not the best at the back. And hopefully get a chance ourselves. So, I mean, we had a few chances in that game against Leeds. And it was a bit of a lucky goal in the end. Fred had a couple one-on-ones. Um, but we are tending to rely an awful lot on Fred at the moment because Zelstein's gone dry. Uh, we had such a good run in our yellow today. Fatty with the gloves on the wuss. Come on. Let's produce it. Here we go, boys. For three wins on the spin, which will be the first time for this side in the Master League this year on PES 2014. And will be a great fillet coming up to the window. Well, we're really desperate to do some business. Of course, you're not going to miss any of that on this channel and in this series. You will not miss anything. Comings and goings. We scour the transfer market in great depth on here if you've ever watched my series before. And there will be plenty of videos on that. First up, though, let's concentrate on dispatching Blackburn, hopefully, and bringing some points back in our carrier bag. Come on, boys. Come on, you Spartan army. Well, on, Gazalia. Go on, Zelstein. Well, and Zelstein. Brilliant play from Zelstein. Oh, it was a good shot as well. Best we've seen from him for a long time. Zolius. Oh, Gazalia, surely. Yes, we're up and running. Good pressure from the Spartans early on. Good shots and range from Castolius and Zelstein in that exchange. And then Gazalia in the right time at the right place for a little tap in, really. Great play from Castolius. Burst past his man there. Ferocious left footed drive. Would have been nice if it had gone in like this, but the goalie had no chance from the follow up. Because Gazalia was there to tap in the nuptials. What a good effort from Gazalia, though. Gazalia. There's a couple little tappings he's had on the back stick now. 1 0 Spartan Army. 1 0 the Spartans. Great start that. Something to hang on to after eight minutes. Home crowd booing. Confident start from the boys. Ricardo Fate. Oh, straight in the hands of Robinson, but he stung it. Good effort from Fate. Go on, Zelstein. Zelstein's in. And he's done it. Back to a scoring goal for Zelstein, and we're two up here. It's been a real. Nothing sort of game. There's been no chances apart from the two goals, really. And it's Zelstein who composed slotted. Good through ball from Voldemort. Zelstein had the pace there. Looking a bit more refreshed today on the back of a couple of good shots and good runs. And that was composure in the box. Keeper went down. He chipped it over. And Zelstein, his first goal for a long, long time. We stuck faith with him because of the run earlier on in the season. Held him off well with strength and a good little cherry over the keeper. 2-0 up here away from home and we, we are in dreamland here with the Spartans. Don't know where it's come from the last couple of performances. Just not really been amazing but we've just dug in I think. We've dug in and we've weathered any storm that's come and we've looked half sensible. Gazalia's in here now. Gazalia. Off the post! 
Ah, oh, nearly free. Rattled the post. Really did. Zolius. Looking for options. Won't find any. Ricardo Fatty driving on though. Great run from him. Ricardo Fatty! Oh! Now we're oozing confident and we really should be free up here. Great chance for Fatty. He hasn't scored for the club yet. He's missed a few good ones now. Burst to life after the second goal then. Need to go in 2-0 up here and we'll be very happy. Half time approaching here then. And 2-0 at the spot and in an absolute dreamland really. I wouldn't have said we've been two goals better than them. We've minimised their chances. It's been quite a scrappy game really. We, two bits of quality we've had and we've managed to get goals from them which is great. Zelstein back to scoring goals which is right. We've just got to keep it tight here. Well done Giacomo. And there it is. Half time 2-0 up. That is fantastic. We will make no changes to the second half unless we've got tired limbs. Which we will just check on because this could be a good opportunity perhaps. Try and rest a couple rather than flogging the horse again. Fred is out on his feet really. We're going to do that. We're going to bring on Hula Goose. He wasn't awful. We'll keep the other, other changes up our sleeve I think for a minute or two. So Fred... You won't be seeing him in the second half. Hopefully we can hang on to this and maybe even add a third, which would be great. I think much to report in this second half, which is good really, because we've got the two goals, obviously. We're going to the bench again and having a look what we can do. We're going to bring Castolius off. Eli Zou's going to come on. Pull him back into a... Centre mid position. We're going to give Gazalius. No, we're not. We're going to leave Gazalia wrong. We're going to give Mindy a run out up top. Those are the three changes we're going to make. It's really good that it is a quiet second half. And, you know, 66 gone. And it's still 2 0 because Blackburn have come with pressure but no real chances. And if they had come any stronger at us, then obviously we could have been in trouble conceding an early goal perhaps to them or something. So we've kept it tight. And hopefully we can weather the storm and take away the points here because it's been a good, good effort so far. Oh, they're in here. Great save when needed. Just wouldn't, would have been a nervy last few minutes of that gone in. That's great play for Mindy. Gazalia. Done fantastic to get round the back. Great run from Gazalia that. Free kick. Six minutes just over to survive. Good header, Ricardo. Done. Oh, and they're back in it. This could be a nervy last five. David done with the goal. Keeper beating on their stick. Not been able to put the game to bed. Bit of a nothing goal, really. Thought he was going to shoot then. I don't know if he did shoot or what he done. No, he done a little chippy ball into the runner. Done. Took it well. Keeper should have done better there. 2-1. Christ, it's going to be a tense last five. Now we just got to keep ball. Be dis distraught to not come away with a win now. Really would be. Blow the whistle, Raf. Not much injury time, please. Elizu! Oh! Blow it. Determined. Gazalia! Gazalia! Oh, he's had a good game today. He's been man of the match for me. Got the first goal, and that was good play there. 
is what we want. When we're two, when you're two, one out of five minutes to go, you want to be pushing for the third rather than hanging on. And we've done that a little bit there, which is good. Whistle's going to blow any minute. We'll go short as always to Ricardo Fatty. He's giving it away because he's ran into one of our players, which is a bit stupid. Elizu, hula hoo. Gets past a man. Oh, still in there. Longest it. Extra time going, isn't it? Fatty with a header in. Blow the whistle, referee. There it is. We've done it. We've held on. We'd have taken that. But it would be nice to have been more comprehensive after the early 2-0 lead. But we've done it. We've held on. The pass completion was poor in the second half. But we were worth it looking at the shots on target, etc. Well worth the points. Gazalia for me, man of the match, head and shoulders. See whether the ratings got that right. Mackinshire. Gazalia 6.5. Zelstein with a first goal for a long time. And three wins on the spin. Don't if we could be top three now, I'd be delighted. But we're on the coattails, and that's all I care about really at this stage of the season. We're up there in the mix. We're going to give ourselves a chance. And if we can have some money to spend in the window, get rid of some of the dross out of the squad, it'll be fantastic. QPR win again. They go on on their relentless march. Bolton on the next side have beaten Brighton and Hove Albion. Wigan have lost 4-1. I think Wigan were up there. I think it might have been Wigan and Leicester. What's that? I can't remember. But we may well be third. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy heights for the Spartans. We are third. Wow, that is fantastic. Three wins on the spin has put us up there. 15 goals scored, which is the problem. We're not banging them in. 12 is okay defensively conceded, I suppose, in the 13 games. But as you can see, we're only averaging a goal a game, really, which ain't enough. But we are up there. Bolton, who we play next to 15th. Let's just have a look at the newspaper headlines. Of course, main headline here in the Telegraph is... The boss man in his delight of turning the season around a little bit after a couple poor performances against QPR and Watford. He was worrying what the season was going to hold, you know, after the great cup run and everything else. But then to turn it round and the first time the Spartans had experienced three wins on the spin, he's delighted with that. And he's delighted with the form of Gazalia in the last game as well. Spartan news is... Will he or won't he is the headline, which is, you know, will he or won't he spend money? Are we going to be in a position to spend money with the window coming up? Um, there's been a lot of talk about transfers and the windows. Boss needs to spend money, but he doesn't know whether the board are going to back him. Um, so that's that one. And not a lot else in the sun, just following on from a report I think we done a couple of weeks ago about Eli Zhu and saying that he was happy at the Spartans. In the sun there, he is linked with moves away. So we'll wait and see what happens in the transfer window with that one. But it looks like Eli Zhu could be on his way out of the Spartans if they get the right offer for him after only six months. So that's where we are. Next up, it's Bolton. Here we are then. Spartan Park. Saturday afternoon. What more can you want? Visiting Bolton Wanderers. One of the oldest teams out there against the army the army will be ramped for this the crowd were really with us in the last home game hopefully they'll be with us again today as the battle cry <laughs> rings out around Spartan Park are Bolton man enough to, to live up to that battle cry does it send shivers down their spine it should do because they might have the sword up their jacks here they don't and there's Fatty armband come on boys come on Come on, Leicester Al in goal. Come on, all of you brave soldiers, brave Spartans. You've put belief back in this club in the last month or so now. With your cup run and your free league wins on the spin. It's all there for you. You can taste the Premiership, even though we're only halfway through. That kit could have a Premiership logo on the sleeve next season. If you believe in yourselves, if you believe you've got Spartan blood in your veins, you can carry it through and you can win this for the club. Four wins on the spin, three in this episode. This is ramped as high as you can get it. We are up for this one, boys and girls at home. Don't you worry about that. Come on, you army.
just tell you because obviously you've not seen any highlights yet. Um, we've just given a free kick away there, Gazalia, a bit cheap. But 27 minutes gone, it's been a real dire battle in midfield, to be honest. We've not been able to get foot on the ball, we've not been able to do anything. Bolton have had the majority of possession, but as yet, thankfully, have created nothing. They say that there's a first shot and Beckford just wide. So it's a real tough game, this. It's going to be a, not one for the connoisseur, that's for sure. One for you to get your jumper up tight and hold on, and hopefully Spartans can turn something around from it. We've not been able to get any of the danger men on the ball. It has been real dogged stuff, this. Hopefully some highlights to come soon. There's been... Fred! Bogdan! Oh, first chance of the game. Giacomo! Oh! Couldn't get the shot off, get back, son. It's before half time, we've had a couple forays into their half, and that's about it, really. There it is, half time, dire, dire stuff, but at least we're not losing. We'll see you for the second half. Hopefully, we've got some decent highlights to show you. Great play from Gasolius. Gives it to Fred. Fred Burnin. Fred deflection. Gasalia. Gasalia. Yes! Gasalia on the back stick. We've broken the deadlock straight from the break here. And it was a fumble far up of a goal. But we we'll take it. Gasolius with a good driving run. It broke to Fred. Fred come inside on his right, which is never the best because he's left footed. One of the best of shots, got a deflection, spun off, and Gazalia was the hungry one. What a good header from there. Across the keeper, no chance. And we've got the crucial goal here. That could open the game up a bit because it's been a real dour affair. But great header from Gazalia, and he has been the man lately. It's surprising this Spartan team how people step up. Gazalia stepped up for a couple not that long ago, and all of a sudden it's Gazalia who's stepping up to the plate. We've got a good lead there, because this has been a real tight affair. I didn't know whether there's going to be anything in it at all. We've just got to weather the storm they're going to bring back at us now a little bit. Our gone here. We've got that slender lead from that scrappy goal. Looking for four wins on the spin. Mackinshire looking for the runner Zelstein again. It works because it keeps him, puts him back. And he's such a willing runner, this man. Bolton have controlled possession. We've not really had a lot of ball at all. Play from the left back again. Mackinshire. Oh, one for the return. Strandberg. One up. Zelstein will get this. Good header, Kizolius. Oh, wanted the full volley, didn't have it. Right on 70 here. Crowd getting a bit tense that we haven't got the second. Don't look like we're going to get it as well. We've been quite. Oh, Giacomo had to go there. Had to go there because the ball was on if he had played the triangle ball. And it's red for Giacomo. First red card of the game of the season. Reshuffle time, boys. Someone's going to have to be sacrificed. It was late from Giacomo. He felt he had to go for it. Wow. 70, 20 minutes to go. And we're going to have to play it with 10. Makes it tense for you guys at home, we know. But not... Sacrificial lamb is going to be Custolius. We haven't got a centre back, have we, on the bench? Um, Festerville. What's, what is Voldemort a centre back? 61, he's going to have to do the job for the team in there. Ellie Zoo's going to come into the midfield.
Fatty's role change as well to protect it. Defensive mid. Gazalia can come into the middle a bit more. So can Fred having said that. We will have no width at all, but that doesn't matter. Crowd of mental out there, blue and white army. Come on. Ten men. We need him to lift us and carry us through this. Twenty minutes. Ellie Zoo, a lot of talk about him lately. Oh, if he's going to carry on like that, I'm not surprised. Spartan still holding on here with 10. Five minutes to go. We've managed to keep it a midfield battle. And they've not really come at us in the area. They've controlled the possession, but we've... Fred's in! Fred is in to nail this game and finish it. Oh, he couldn't bury it. Hope we don't live to regret that. Ellie Zoo, keep the pressure on. Ricardo Fatty gives it away cheap. Ellie Zoo. Well done. Voldemort's done a job at the back for the team. Time up, ref. Long border chase for Mindy. Surely the ref's going to blow soon. Yes, and with four wins on the spin, even with ten men, and Giacomo will be out for a while, but that doesn't matter. We've got cover there. No possession. Bolton did boss the possession. The pass completion rate was dire. But that one goal, that back stick header from Gazalia has given us four wins on the spin and three in a row in this episode for you guys to celebrate with us. Fantastic stuff, boys. Who gets man of the match? Gazalia with a 6.5. Ali Zoo, they gave us six off the bench. He did do all right. Voldemort was better than 5.5. You've got to be kidding me. Fatty, we want more from you. We want more from Fred as well. They've both gone off a bit. But we've managed to keep winning, which is the main thing. Even though it doesn't feel like the main players in the side are performing, we've had some other heroes step up to the plate, put on the loincloths, don the sword and say, yes, I'm going to fight for the Spartan army. I'm going to die for you tonight, if need be. Leicester only drew. That's great news. Wigan lost again. Fantastic. QPR go on relentlessly. I think you can say that they've got one of the... Automatic playoff places already there. They are well ahead, I should think. Let's have a look at the table before you leave you. And it looks good now, doesn't it? Ipswich on our tails. Two points behind. But we are up only three points behind Leicester now. And five points above Wigan. So we're doing very well. Seven wins now. From the 14 league games, which is decent with four draws. Love to score more goals. It's going to be such a crucial January window for us, I think. If we can do business and get some out and some in, it could be the key to all things great for the Spartans. Don't forget, this is episode 9. Episode 10 is three more games, including a game against Wigan Athletic. And then it will be the window. So not long now before the side could change, the Spartan side could change. Do we bring in Stimmage? He's there available if we want him. Um... There's not been any negative comments from anybody about it, so we may well have to do that if we've got no money anyway. But it's all looking good in the garden at Spartan Park. Thanks for joining me, guys. It's been a great episode with three wins on the spin. Really, really chuffed with that as you know as it's going. It's not easy on this year's Pez. There's a lot of dour games in amongst it, but we're managing to grind, grind, grind out the results in true Spartan fashion. I've been the pro Spartan gamer. Thanks for all the likes, comments and subscriptions you guys are giving me. It really is appreciated. We are on around the 350 mark now, which I never dreamt I would get there and approaching 100,000 views. So it's great. Thank you for that support. Well appreciated. Don't forget the option file I'm using is Pez World and there will be links to that in the description. Cheers, dude. Stay safe and I'll catch you next time.